Hello again from New Road, end of day one, Worcestershire against Warwickshire. Um, here joined by Matthew Waite, who played a big part in Worcestershire's recovery today. Matthew, end of the day, how do you see it? Um, I think we're in a really good spot. Um, we're about six runs off that second point, 300. I think if we can get to 300, that would be brilliant on that on that type of pitch. And they ball pretty well and they stuck us in. So I think if we can get past that 300 mark, we've obviously taken a bit of momentum tonight. And if we can get that again in the morning, I think we're in a really good spot. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that at, at, at lunchtime, if somebody had said you're going to get 250, you'd have settled for it. Yeah, definitely. We asked... Um, the opening batters, what they thought a good score was, and they weren't really sure, but they said around 250, 260. So I think we're doing pretty well, yeah. Um, having said that, you went out there, come back into the side after quite a lengthy absence, and uh, you can rarely have started an innings so well, really. You timed it right from the off. Yeah, I think it was a bit of nervous energy. Um, I had a lot of nervous, en- uh, a lot of nerves this morning because obviously I've not played for a while and. It just came out in my batting, and I managed to hit a few boundaries and got away. Yeah, so which was nice. Must be great though when you go out there joking apart to to find the middle quite early. I mean, you hit a, one particularly good shot off the back foot through the covers early on. It must have felt really good after that. Yeah, I did, um, and it's good to put on a partnership with Dolly because we were in a sticky situation a little bit there. Um, but I've worked really hard on it while I've been injured on my batting, so yeah, it's pleasing to do that. Another really good ca- innings from the captain as well. He's been brilliant since he came back from injury. He's been so good. Um, and again, yeah, another massive contribution today. You mentioned the pitch. Just talk us through it. A little bit of nip in it all the time? Yeah, you never really feel in on it, I guess. Never feel comfortable. Um, there's a bit of nip. Stands up sometimes, bounces a bit more than you think. Um, and a bit of hold there for the spinner. So um, It wasn't the easiest pitch, but... As I say, we've got 300 runs, so we're, we're quite pleased. And with Tom Taylor and, and Jack Home, who's, who's made a good start to his first-class career out there with the bat, you're hoping, presumably, to nudge on past 300 and, and, and give yourselves something really to work with? Yeah, Tommy and Jack were amazing then. Um, and as I said before, they've given us a lot of momentum going into tomorrow. And if we can get that second batting point, that'll be massive for us. Um, and again, a little bit more momentum towards us. Um, Jack's done really well. Like you saw in the One Day Cup, he's he's not phased by it very much, and he's he's really helped us there, and um, that was a big contribution. You've had a side injury yourself, um, obviously fit again now. Presumably, hoping you can go out and make a similar impact with the ball as you did with the bat. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm always trying to. Everybody wants to impact the game all the time, so I get another opportunity with the ball, and hopefully, I can can do a good job for the team with that. Do, do, do you look forward to tomorrow thinking that it's the sort of pitch that might suit your bowling? Um, I've not thought too much about it, but um, I guess so, yeah. Um, like I said, I just want to do well for the team, really. Uh, that's what I'm thinking about. Um, yeah, sorry, I don't have much Well, no, that's so. fine. It's certainly great comeback today, Matthew. Yeah. Congratulations on that. I know you've been itching to get back. Yeah. Uh, and thanks for being with us at the end of the day. Thank you.